All right, so seronegative spondyloarthropathies. This is a group of joint disorders that's characterized by two things. One, an association with the HLA-B27 serotype and the fact that there's no rheumatoid factor. So that's why it's seronegative. Remember, HLA-B27 is very key here. There's a couple of them, like I mentioned. First one is ankylosing spondylitis. And this is classically inflammation of the vertebral column and the sacroiliac joints. So vertebral column of the spine, and this is the sacroiliac joint. So sacrum, iliac, so the joint between them is the sacroiliac joint. And you will get, because of this inflammation, you get joint fusion. This is a very classic picture. It's called the bamboo spine. So bamboo spine, ankylosing spondylitis, very common, very classic. And it, just, it looks like a stick of bamboo, as you can see. You can also have uveitis and aortic regurgitation, but really the key symptoms here are that bamboo spine, but also may see uveitis and aortic regurgitation. Next is psoriatic arthritis, inflammation of the joints, mainly the hands, feet, spine. You can also see sausage digits, let's see about the picture here, yes, sausage digits, inflammation of the hands, you get these fat fingers, which look like sausage, that's called dactylitis, as um, I have noted here, dactylitis. And you often see this in patients with psoriasis, hence the name psoriatic arthritis. But they can also occur independently. But um, I think that's a differ differentiating feature of that the psoriasis skin, skin rash. Finally, we have reactive arthritis. This is, uh, occurs usually after a GI or a chlamydia infection, hence the name reactive. So it reacts after the inf infection. So remember, the name tells us a lot. This is a triad if you can't see, you can't pee, and you can't climb up a tree. So you, can, you have conjunctivitis in the eyes, you have euthritis, okay, burning in the penis, you have arthritis, arthritis to say of the knee, can't see, can't pee, can't climb, can't climb up a tree, that's reactive arthritis. So that's it for our seronegative spondyloarthropathies.